Hello everyone. In this video, we talk about the enhanced open SQL statements. So we start with the basics, then we go deeper and deeper after writing the basic select statement. You have already seen this select statement. This is basic select statement, which we used to write before 7.4. So from 7.4 or onwards, or we can say in SAP HANA, because SAP HANA came after 7.5 and onwards, but still we can we will use SAP HANA words. So we have to modify this select statement. So to increase the functional scope of the open SQL statements, SAP have to make changes in the select single select statement syntax changes as well. Because now since the our HANA database is more powerful we have to do our most of the calculation at the database level. So we have to make our select statement like that. We can do most of the calculation part and zone parts at the database level itself instead of doing at the application layer. So making those changes. So what SAP did first change they have did instead of writing simple fill list with the space separation, they have made the selection list with the comma separated. So each and everything is have significance over here for each syntax check change. Why, it, why they did instead of simply writing the fill list, why they wrote with the comma separated list? Just think it about. Because in the simple select, simple fill list, we can't do anything. Suppose I want to do some multiplication over here. If I do the multiplication, I, I'm not able to, as a compiler, not able to understand between what is the separation between them. The, this is because in, in between also here also we are using space and space. So compiler not able to understand what is the correct. So that is the reason they have used the comma separated list. Here we can do a lot of calculation and we can do the arithmetical operation. Not only arithmetical operation, we can use case statement, where statement, a lot of things we can do. This is the first step. Second change is the form. So what we did instead of writing the select statement fill list after the select goes, we can write the select this fill list after from as well. Select from this is EPM related cells order table. Let me get the data. Control V. So fields. There is one new keyword in select statement. This is called fields. So what is the advantage or of writing the select here over the we are writing the select after the fill list here. After we are writing the fill list after the fill list. Important advantage. We have search help over here. I don't know what all are the field lists. I can just click on control space. What all are the field with starting with delivery will come here. I just have to click on enter. The field will be there. So help is available here. But if I do same thing over here, there is no help from this table. I will not get any help. So that is the advantage. Control C, control V. That is the why we have to write the field list after the form close select fill list the third thing in into close now we can do inline declaration that's all very obvious into table at the rate important thing at the rate this is the not part of inline declaration most of the time we make assumption this at the rate is a part of the inline declaration no this at the rate what we are telling the system whatever we are passing after the at the rate, whatever the variable we are passing, this is the application layer related variable. It's not related to database because ultimately the select query will execute at the database layer. So we are telling the system that this variable, whatever I am, I am passing here, LT tape, this is related to database, not related to uh, this is related to application layer, not related to database. So we are hosting this variable in the database and telling the database this variable is related to application layer. So, so all the variable which we are passing from the select query to the database layer, 
we have to host those variables except literals like that i use this literal over here i no need to use escape here but i am using constant instead of this literal lc underscore eur then i have to escape that variable as well that's a th that's a another important thing the last thing the into close i have written let me write up to 10 rows same statement i want to write up to 10 rows that's fine i didn't write where condition i was i have written where condition after the into close now i can write this where condition in between here before the into, into close as well where currency code is equal to this one so what is the advantage to write the where close we can use easily union and union all statement that we will discuss when uni when we discuss about union but just to understand the we can write into close after where condition as well that's another change so these are the main changes done in select statement whenever we are writing the select statement but there is something important over here if we are using single feature from the new syntax then we have to use entirely new syntax only it's not like that i i did i am just want to use comma set separated list and then i i don't want to use the uh, inline i don't want to host those variable it is not possible you have to use entirely new syntax or entirely old syntax so otherwise uh, the compiler will give syntax error and we will not able to execute those statements so these are the basic thing we have started with in upcoming videos we will see the arithmetical operation case statements call as function union union all lot of things we will see in the select statement this is just to start before going to those videos please like this video subscribe this channel and share these videos with, with others as well thank you and happy learning